Hey uh, everyone, Miyasuri here. We're back playing Battletech. We're gonna go on with the story today. Lord Madeira just got back in contact with us right after the mission on Panzer, so we are going to go rescue him ASAP, because that's what we do. We're not leaving one of ours behind. I don't plan on rusting at all, so whatever we get there with, we're getting there, which means Behemoth, Truck, and Baron Berengarian, however you pronounce that, probably all out still. Uh, meaning we're going to have to rely on less skilled mech warriors to get this done. But we're just getting there. I know some people would say, rest, make sure we're equipped to do this, but we're just doing it. So yeah, let's take a look at the contract quick. Extraction, 22 day travel. It looks like we are actually doing a mission based on this. There is salvage, there is a high reward. It is a very dangerous mission. Travel to Goldra to rescue Lord Alexander Madeira and recover his family's insurance policy against house espinoza they've got one of ours commander going to get him back so yeah i had a very slight computer malfunction um while trying to upload my the last episode to storage and edit it so hopefully nothing happened there if there is no episode i think it's 22 might be 21 uh, i forget what episode this technically is right now i'm sorry that's what happened i had a malfunction that made me restart my computer everything looks fine right now it just suddenly stopped the video transfer from my computer to my storage when i restarted my computer the video was off of my computer which usually doesn't happen it just makes a copy from my computer to my storage and then i delete delete it off my computer once it's safely on the storage yeah that that's kind of sketchy to me everything looks fine it plays off of my storage device it looks like it works fine it looks like i can still edit it but just so we all know and it looks like we have an event here albatross so before you arrive at the morning briefing you can hear dr Murad's raised voice so i told undertaker to leave engineering at once Yang grimaces, yeah, and then he showed up at the mech bay. It took a whole two minutes for one of my winches to fail. Samari rolls her eyes. Don't send him to the bridge, chief. You want the comms to short out again? Finally, Darius notices you standing in the doorway and explains, Commander, we have to do something about Undertaker. He's a jinx. No, you don't. You do not take Undertaker from me. So we can release him from his contract. Not going to be a thing. That would also cost us money. We can loan him out to the pirates. Don't know how long that's going to take. We can build him temporary quarters in the unfinished part of the Argo. Have a bad feeling about that. Or we can confine him to the barracks. That's going to lower his morale indefinitely. So the two good options here are... Be liked by the Regan pirates. Loan him out. I don't know what the option leads to though and it might sound like he's gonna stay out to me so let's build him temporary quarters in the unfinished part of the argo later in the week darius delivers an update to the situation while relocating undertaker to the undeveloped gamma pod that has kept him out of the hair of senior staff and fellow mech warriors it's been hard on the lonely mech warrior commander i don't know how much more he can take but dr Murad and i have been monitoring things and the strange electronical behavior on the part of the ship has subsided in the past 24 hours i suggest we keep an eye on things and let undertaker move back into the quarters for a week or two undertaker has gained the following tags for 30 days low spirits can hardly blame the guy all right we're here in goldra let's see what we got all of our mechs are repaired so this is a plus dead drop why don't i like the sound of this we're picking up a transmission on the restoration distress frequency commander time stamp is marked a couple of hours ago it's from lord madeira kamea by the time you receive this message all have been captured got hostiles in closing in all around me I as i'm recording this i don't know how much time i have left listen evidence isn't hidden in a dead drop it was the best i could do given the circumstances go to my grandfather's monument you remember the place where we laid him to rest in the mountains the directorate paved over it and built a structure right over the top of it look there and you'll find what you need i can hear the sound of splintering hardwood they're coming through the door and i'm out of time i pray that i will see you again but if i don't i need you to win this war do whatever you need to do just finish it not for me but for our people goodbye the image on the view screen cuts out the only sound you can hear is the hiss of static i'll be putting together a rescue team leave the space for me 
tenacity, I'm coming with you. First we recover Alexander, then we focus on picking up the evidence and getting the hell off of Goldra. I've got Lord Madeira's subdernal transponder signal on my screen. They're moving him, probably in an APC. If we launch mechs now, we may be able to catch up to it. Funny thing about guarding convoys for a living. You learn as then we better put that expertise to use. Assemble your lands, command with three of your best, and I'll be joining you in the atlas we recovered from Castle Nautilus. Time is of the essence. Let's retrieve that evidence and bring Lord Madeira home. Well, looks like I won't be needing to put in an extra. Um, I will handle the Zeus. And Undertaker can take the Jaeger. If it'll let me put him in there. And then Kamiya has the Atlas. Alright, yep. Initiated. Let's do this, people. How are we looking, Darius? Bad news. The APC holding Lord Madeira has already reached the facility ahead. Whatever we're going to do, we need to do it fast. Our arrival won't stay a secret for long. I need Alexander by my side if we're going to beat my uncle and win this war. Cut him out of that facility, Commander. We're going to get the data he's recovered. We will get that data after he is recovered. Got a bandit on my screen. Moving out. Turrets, turrets, max vehicles. Okay. It's a little bit much, but we can handle that. Thirty ton, thirty ton, sixty turrets. All right. How's it going? Actually, he's going to reserve. Might have one more of them move in. Dragon. I'm fine with that. Now I need him to move to the side. On my way. Uh, that's a double guard, isn't it? I want to know how he gets cover and guard there, but whatever. I'm gonna take out this turret. Don't think we need all of that. Reporting. That works. Pretty sure one of the turrets is gonna fire at me now. See what else we're up against here. A galleon and a galleon. A light laser turret. This is not what fired at me. But we're gonna take care of one of these. It's only got... I don't need to use these. Okay. They're in pretty shoddy shape, so I can just tear them apart. I might actually be able to multi-shot this. Alright, let's see what happens here. Copy that. Okay, since he's in shoddy shape, even with a 40% reduction, that did a lot to him. That's kind of interesting. Right, we're going to go here just so there's less of a chance of a stray shot. And I know that turret's actually it's not going to go yet, but okay. Uh, and we can probably fry it without using our AC ammo. That we're probably going to need for later. Tell 
or not, but we still got considerable amount. And it's dragging down. And we're gonna move him in just so he gets better shot at stuff now. He's probably gonna get turret fire though. Five fifty armor damage though. So that's not horrible. Loud and clear. Lichy, can you do what I need you to do? No. Alright, uh -huh. well. I guess let's take out one of these turrets. Time to die. I was hoping you'd get to that turret generator. But if I can just take out these turrets without using ammo, I'll be just as happy. Those defen the defenders are eliminated. Now secure the base so we can extract Alexander. Standing by. I'll be even sprinting. She can't get there. Don't know where any enemies are going to come from. So we're just going to kind of cover our bases here. Oh. I need to get here with all four units. Well, I will do that then next turn. Probably not the best idea to move him up there, but we'll see. And Glitchy. Can you not go up? Oh, that's not exactly a ramp, is it? Alright, well. We're here. Well done, Commander. Farah, do you have a fix on Lord Madeira's exact location? Working on it, Darius. I just need a minute to... You won't find your lapdog in that facility, however long you search, cousin. Little Alex kneels at my feet as we speak. Get out of here, Kamea. She's using me as bait. It's true, Kamea. Alexander was excellent bait. And now this war comes to an end. I don't like the sound of that. I've got hostile units converging on your location. Damn you, Victoria. Taking hostages is a coward's move. If you wanted to fight me, you should have come yourself. When I send you to hell, be sure to tell Lord Carosas that. Oh, I cannot wait to blow her to smithereens if I actually get that chance. Okay, mech's over here. Something up there. Panther, alright. Hunchback. Titan Mac shooting. <laughs> lots of missiles into the rear. Losing lots of armor. Another mech up there. Breaching shot ignores cover and guarded. Alright, we can do this. I 
I'm going to position him this way so hopefully anything from over here comes into his right side instead of his back. We're going to focus everything since we can precision, precision shot at least twice, if not three times. Alright, now, vehicles, SRM carrier, that thing needs to go now. That thing gets close, I'm, I'm out. Alright, it's toast. There is still that hunchback right there. He is very dangerous, I know this. Bye -bye. I can tear him a new one later. There are two mechs right here. The panther and a wolverine. Uh, I'm gonna try to take out the panther here. I am gonna use the UAC cannons. And we're just gonna fry that right side, I guess. That's gonna give him two injuries. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. So he's knocked down. I have a free precision shot at him now. Tell me what you need. Uh, yeah, Kamea can do this and take out the panther. Panther down. Follow me to victory. You chose the wrong side. I figured he was going to get close and fire everything. Trebuchet up there, the Wolverine up there. This is manageable. Ready. So I think the plan is to have the Jaeger. 65 and a 65. Alright, we're, we're gonna go at the hunchback here. I don't think that did as much damage as I thought it would, but nonetheless... We can get to the right side, but I'm listening. Open Kami is AC twenty can hit him. Right arm down. Torso out. Critical hit, Commander. Alright, and if she were to jump, how much she that be? Alright. Right, Commander. 
so let's move here. It might reduce the shots from that one. Or it might force him to shoot there, which I wouldn't like, but... It's not much for repairs if I can keep that minimal. Alright, here goes. Knock him down. CT destroyed. Punch back down. Couldn't have hoped for better. Alright, well... Wolverine might fire at him. I know he has a juicier target right there, because that's his main target, but... That's what I thought and was hoping for. Don't have to repair the Atlas. Atlas isn't mine. Atlas is very heavily armored. Yes, I hear you. AC-20 blew him up. Alright, glitchy. Actually, no. Let's do this with the main character. If nothing else, this is gonna weaken him. Alright, arm destroyed. Structure exposed. Enemy mech. Critical damage. Waiting for orders. And now glitch can come out and pop pop. Affirmative. Not gonna melee, right? I don't think I've meleeed with the Jaeger. I want to see what this looks like. It's kind of tackle. Interesting. Scored a critical hit. Reading you loud and clear. I'm on my way. Not sure if this is going to end the mission. Or, we gotta escape yet, but... Well, looks like we gotta uh, turn some stuff on. Yeah. I'll make it happen. The Directorate must have been... I'll wait for this to go off. <laughs> the Directorate must have learned something about Lord Madeira's subdernal transponder and cloned the signal. Keep fighting down there. Sumera and I are working to get a fix on his actual location. Work quickly, Dr. Murad. This could be our only chance at finding him. Oh no. Do you want to win little Alex back? Come and find me. We'll be waiting for you. Won't we, Lord Madeira? Huh. I'm sorry, Kamea. I evaded capture for as long as I could, but... That sound you just heard was his jaw, Kamea. It was every bit as fragile as I thought it would be. Consider this a promise kept from our first reunion. She I'm coming for you, Victoria. Do you hear me? Communication terminated. She is really making me not like her more and more and more. I think they wrote from over here, yeah. But jeez, every time Victoria gets on that channel... She just... Pokes and pokes and pokes. Orders. Nope. That thing is uh charting, so we'll reserve until I can do this. Give you on fire starter and fire starter.
I don't like fire starters. Seems like they're all lighter mechs, so at least so it'd be easier to take out. He must be having the worst day of his life right now. Commander? If I do that, she only has four turns of ACs left. And fire starter down. Mech destroyed. You have my attention. I right, she can kind of get a shot off on one of them. And cool down. Structure exposed, even though he was guarding. That's good. Don't know where he thought he was going. And he has horrible aim. And this one. Oh, he has Ace Pilot. Is a Kentaro. Warning. Armor breached. Internal Stand damage. Alright, so forty, fifty will reserve and Good get better shots to moving to position. Get some uh, blips down from I think we need to upgrade his gunnery. Alright. Get this fire starter out of the way. Head hit. That means it was almost taken out. Standing by. Sounds good. I'm moving. Yeah, 13 health left. She can precision this one. Affirmative. And just miss. Good to go. We can see the fifty five, thirty, and a forty. All right. Fire like this, and hopefully do something. Engaging multiple targets. Some damage on the Kentaro, what we were looking for. Blips gone on the fire starter, what I was looking for. East pilot, we're gonna... Move like that. Undertaker... Missiles away. Right arm, left arm. Critical hit, Commander. Got it. Lady Urano, I've got a fix on Lord Madeira's transponder signal. He's being moved. It looks like they're taking him to the most heavily reinforced directorate stronghold on Goldra. Miss Meyer, I need you to pick up. I need you to pick us up in the Leopard. It's the only way we can reach him before it's too late. That's a negative, Lady Urano. I'm reading dozens of anti-aircraft guns and missile turrets around that stronghold. If I tried to fly you in, they'd blow me out of the sky. What are our options? If you take off at a dead sprint, you might be able to catch them. 
It'd be pretty dicey though. I'm seeing a lot of mechs between you and Lord Madeira. And we'll have no time to retrieve the evidence that he gathered. The evidence can wait. We have to. The intel is vital to our war effort and it's very nearly in our grasp. I... I cannot risk the future of the Reach for one man. Mr. Oliveria, I need you to give me the coordinates of Lord Madeira's dead drop. Forgive me, Alexander, but your rescue will have to wait. Roger that. Lady Urano, I'm marking the coordinates on your map now. Commander, we show multiple dropships inbound as soon as you have the data. Get out of there. Every fiber of my being is screaming at me to not abandon Lord Madeira. To drop everything and rescue him, as I know he'd rescue me. In leaving him, I betray myself. It's the right call. And it's what he wanted you to do. For your people. But Alexander... He'll live. Have faith in that, and press on. It's the only thing you can do. I mean, that is one of the toughest choices someone could make. Oh god, the Kentaro here. Not even structure. We need to move it up ahead. Loud and clear. Alright, what can I do? I got six shots of this left. She can very easily take him out, give him the right shot. But that missed, so she's not gonna. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Torso's destroyed. That's a critical hit. See, the problem is here is I need to get up there and I'm running out of ammo for this. Okay, Kentaro down. He's probably gonna melee me. I don't think he can do much more. Oh, he still had a flamer on him. That's not good. Oh, could hit my head? Wow. Okay. Ready. Well, we're gonna have to use some missiles. Still have 250. We use 30, 50 a turn, so that's five rounds worth. I'm going to shoot with the Zeus, but I'm not going to use the auto cannons because of that recoil. Um, yeah. Shoot at the back here. That's 35 plus 75 right into the back here. That should be enough. They all hit. Which they did not. Right leg destroyed, Bill. 
That might be enough. It was not. It never is. I'm listening. I'm moving out. Missiles at him. Otherwise at him. We're not shooting that because I want to save it, Samuel. That looks fine. Engaging the enemy. Multiple targets. Arm destroyed. Torso destroyed. One injury. And knocked down. That's two injuries. Other fire started destroyed. That's a good turn. She can walk there, can't she? Nope. She gets a little extra movement if she jumps, which we need right now. We're gonna call it shot the center. We're not gonna shoot the ACs. We're gonna give them a break. Otherwise, go for a glitchy. CT on fire starter destroyed. That's the last inbound hostile dropship from the landing force. We have the window t we need to evac. Destroying my cousin's landing force would shore the cost of her treachery, and I'm willing to pay. That is the weirdest sentence ever right there. I'm sorry I'm having trouble saying it. However, getting that, recovering that data is still our priority. That is the weirdest sentence I have said in a while. I had trouble saying it. I did multiple takes. I am sorry. <laughs> Uh, reserve, just in case they can move. Okay. Didn't think so. Uh, I'm gonna sprint over here because everyone, unfortunately, but Glitch is gonna go up here. Glitch is gonna jump up, get that. Man, I'm going to have to make a lot of edits to this because of weird sentence structures. Okay, there is one. There is a vehicle. Oh, that's a Black Knight. That, that has a lot on it. I want it. Okay, Glitch gets here, then she can start jumping up. I sh I'm guessing two turns? Might be able to start shooting in one. Another mech right there. Waiting for orders. Uh, he's guarding, so we're gonna reserve. Which gives the Black Knight a chance to go. Thankfully all of it missed, because you saw how many energy weapons that was. It's basically like a... S I'm not sure if that's a heavy or an assault of uh, a hunchback. You have my attention. So we're going to go with her, get her in range, and shoot. It's also very heat inefficient, as you saw one turn did that. Okay, vehicle. LRM carrier, that could be bad. Okay. Warning. Armor breached. Internal damage. Which jumps here? Okay, she can still shoot from here, which I'm okay with. If this is technically the last one, I'm fine shooting these. Right, Commander. Unsteady. Orders. Um. I know this would knock them down and probably get rid of them. But I really want to get rid of that.
Reporting vehicle destroyed. Coordinates received. Get him somewhere protected. And main character. We go here, we have clear shot with UAC. Precision here, here. Boom. Didn't shoot the UAC though. Lovely. Okay, that's a lighter mech. It's a Jenner. Commander. That is a knockdown with heat sinks destroyed, so it can fire even less guns. So what's it gonna do? Could have been worse. Tell me what you need. Confirmed. Now this could really tear it apart. I'll do what you ask. CT destroyed from the AC twenty alone. She can see both targets, Commando, and the Jenner. Last AC shots. Structure. AC-10 ammo bin is empty. I know that that's probably not going to hit, but it's still damage. Enemy Oof. Oof. Arm on the Zeus. Not the arm that had that cannon, so thankfully. Commander coming around this way. Standing by. That's an overheat, so we're gonna get rid of those. And we'll just be done with them. Glitchy. Commander? Can just go here. Get that. We're receiving the data now, Lady Arano. Commander, I'm gonna have to ask you to keep one of your mechs near that relay until the upload is finished. So they literally have to stay there, okay. I think this just means they're out of ammo, not just actually destroyed. That's what I'm really hoping. That. You're about to have a very bad day there. Kamea's not having it. I don't really blame her, but, you know. Battle mech eliminated. LRMs are out.
that's all the reinforcements. Wait for two turns, and I think I win. For the Oregon people. Holding for tactical advantage. Transmission complete, Lady Arana. We have the package in hand, and Sumeria is on her way. Mission successful. All targets eliminate. Sid Titan, I can collect you from where you are right now. What is this, cousin? You're running? Leaving Lord Madeira behind? I thought that, that you would... I thought that you would do anything for each other. I will take him back from you, Victoria. Personally. I look forward to it, Kamea. In the interim, know that your dearest friend will languish as I languished in Lord Carosa's dungeons. I will make him suffer in your stead. I know what I'm abandoning him to, a Victoria, as does he. Alexander is more courageous than either of us, and if you hurt him, I will kill you myself. I swear that on my father's name. Lady's got some, um, issues with her cousin. Let's put it that way. I thought it said I got a bonus. I mean, I think I actually did there. It just doesn't say I do. I don't remember the contract saying 2.9 million. Injured for 15 days. Zeus needs some repairs. The Jaeger needs some repairs. But nothing broke. So I'm happy with that outcome. We are taking that Black Knight. Da, 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 da. Nothing else I really want. We can finish off Trebuchet, but at this point, I'd just be selling it. LRM with stability damage is amazing, though. Um, extra damage. Medium laser would be good, but extra damage, extra stability. Triple plus SRM. That's really good, and... There's nothing else amazing that stands out, so we're taking that. It's giving us a Jenner that we're gonna sell right away. And a Dragon part that, once we finish that, we can sell it. Didn't give us the other medium laser I wanted, so we're good. Insurance policy. Dr. Maraud, have you gotten that archive cracked open? I want to know what's inside, and I want to know it now. Side note, I was very concerned for a moment there. I'm not sure if that scene was supposed to have sound. It kind of scared me that my sound went out for a little bit. <laughs> so I'm not, once again, I'm not sure that the scene was supposed to have sound or not, but sound instantly started playing again once the scene came back. So I'm assuming there was no sound for tension. Don't quote me on that, my computer's been acting a little fritzy. Yes, Lady Arano, I just finished cracking the encryption. There's a lot here. Ledgers, spreadsheets, cost analyses, and a single hollow file. I recognize the coding on that file. My father authorized his archivist in House Madeira to install a hollow file recording system in the Arano Palace before his death. It was meant to preserve an ongoing record of important diplomatic events. The system must still be active, and Alexander's family had access to it. Go ahead and put it on the view screen, Doctor. Let's see what we lost Lord Madeira for. Roger that. Here goes. I understand your hesitancy, daughter. It is a difficult thing. What I am asking you to do? But this galaxy is a hard and uncaring place. If our directorate is to thrive, we must be even harder. I have no qualms about killing for the greater glory of the directorate, Father, but... This? Please, help me understand. Show me the wisdom carrying out this attack, because I cannot see it myself. Broaden in your perspective, Victoria. Think beyond the reach. Beyond the periphery. Our directorate is growing stronger, but we stand among giants. To the successor states, we are nothing. A tin-pot dictatorship in a galactic backwater. To be ignored or crushed as they please. If we are to survive in the long term, we need a strong ally. But we have nothing to offer in return. We cannot change our circumstances. 
the reach is comparatively small and poor, and that is how it will remain. What we can do is shift the political balance of the periphery by engineering conflict. We can give ourselves value as a buffer state and an ally of convenience. And by doing this to Perdita, you'll create the conflict you seek. Yes, your target is a port city that serves as the primary supplier of Perditan's aerospace bases. The chemical strike there will look like a backdoor attempt to undermine C Calderon's military readiness. He'll assume that the method of attack was chosen for the purpose of plausible deniability. And when he points his finger at House Devon in response, I will quietly approach him with an offer of support. And if this embroils us in a war with the Federated Sons, it won't. Calderon will not strike without proof. Despite his fears to the contrary, the periphery is beneath Hans Devon's notice. We'll be the Concordance, silent partners in a cold war that never goes hot. And the Reach will grow stronger than it ever could on its own. And if our attack fails, if I'm caught, then our Directorate will perish, and us alongside it. But inaction isn't an option, Victoria. An alliance built on a lie is better than no alliance at all. And our Directorate cannot survive it indefinitely in a vacuum. I cannot trust a task this sensitive to any mercenary. It has to be someone who truly loves his reach, and who understands the price of failure. I don't enjoy ordering you to do this, but I am, I am trying to accomplish in five years what House Arano should have done across the span of three lifetimes. To safeguard the reach on such a short timetable, risks must be taken and sacrifices must be made. Show me that you are the defender of the realm that I know you to be, and accept this terrible responsibility. Not for me, but for our people. For the Reach. I... I understand, Father. I'll do what you ask. For the glory of the Reach. The video feed winks out. A test pattern replaces it. Gods, this... It doesn't even matter what else is in the archive with this. We could turn the Tarians against the Directorate. Protector Calderion will want Espinosa's head on a plate. We lost Alexander for this information. Let's use it. I'm marking the evidence with my personal seal and sending it to the Turian government. When they respond, we'll find out whether all of this was worth it. In the meantime, we need to focus on getting Lord Madeira back. He'll be on the throne world. Wouldn't make sense for them to take him anyplace else. Agreed. But if we move on Karoma Madeira... Directly, the Directorate's naval fleet will attack our flank from their base on Tiralon. If, on the other hand, we attack and liberate House Parada, there will be nothing my uncle can do to prevent us from invading Kuromadir. We'll have him by the throat. I'll take my leave of you now, Miyasity. I have allies to rally and an army to marshal. The Restoration will summon you when our forces have been assembled for the assault. And we will keep doing our thing until we receive your summons. Back to work, people. If we're going to stage an assault on Tirlon, we're going to need all of the firepower we can muster. You know what that means, so let's get to it. We know where we're going story-wise. Things are getting kind of heavy, kind of hot. I'm guessing there's not going to be too many more free world contracts we can take unless I want to stall things out. With that being said, uh, if you all want to put in suggestions of what you want to see now, go for it. Um, I'll get to what I can. If you want me to spend a little more time doing anything, let me know. Or if you want me to just go for the uh, main story, let me know about that too. Otherwise, that is going to be kind of the plan. That also being said, going to be a chance of another game afterward. So if you want to put in requests for anything, let me know about that. Otherwise, uh, I'll just pick something. Or if there's enough requests, I can always do a career mode and do the Flashpoint missions, which are own, their own little stories, um, which are like one to two missions, sometimes three of uh, little side stories, kind of interesting Sometimes even people on the ship are involved, like Yang or Sumire, people like that. They want you to go do something for them. That can be kind of fun. Or if someone wants me to do a challenge file or something on like that on this, I could look into that. Otherwise, we'll see what we can get upgraded. We'll see who we can get out of the med bay. 
try to do our best to stay out of the red and prepared for this next main story mission because I have a feeling once things get rolling again, they're going to be very hot and they're just going to keep rolling again and we're not going to have much time for repairs and things like that. So I'm, I'm not sure about that, but, and don't quote me, but that that's kind of where my mind is going with this. So if they're like the last one, I don't know if I'm going to have time to repair like a broken Jaeger. I'm going to have to have another assault class ready for that or another missile mech. So that, that's my thoughts on where this game is going and kind of where to go after. So once again, if you have thoughts or want to say something, you're seeing stuff in the audio or video blips, let me know. Um, I'm still learning the whole editing thing as well. So let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, I do wish you all well. Have a good one and stay safe.